advice on taking care of your hair and since you're starting on your natural hair journey welcome so this is advice that i give anybody um, when they want to start caring for their hair and the first one is to pay attention to your hair because one our hair can change right like the porosity can change and that's just natural sometimes like we notice that the roots of our hair are poofy and the ends are more defined and that's because the ends of our hair are the oldest part of our hair and thus it becomes more porous in our hair through wear and tear becomes more porous fun fact is that healthy undamaged hair is naturally hydrophobic meaning repelling water all right the next thing is I recommend always to shampoo your hair on a regular basis. So that could be for, you know, if your hair is short, it might be twice a week. And as your hair gets longer, it could be once a week. But you don't wanna go more than two weeks, three tops if you really have to, um, without actually shampooing your hair. Because when you shampoo your hair, you're removing product buildup and you're lifting the cuticle so that your hair can absorb moisture and that's how your hair gets hydrated. Hydration is key to maintaining the elasticity in your hair. So what do I mean by elasticity? So if you were to take a strand of hair and you pull it, like does it snap right away? If it snaps really quickly, then most likely your hair is brittle and dry and it's going to break easily. But if your hair has hydration and its elasticity is there, it could snap back or it could take a long time for it to actually snap when you pull it but you don't want to overdo it with the hydration and I do find like that could be where we tend to go wrong where we think like moisture is good let me get more moisture into our hair so if your hair isn't damaged you don't need to do deep conditioning treatments if your hair is dry it might be because your hair isn't pulling in enough moisture and that's where the shampooing comes in and you always want to follow up a shampoo with a good conditioner and then the last one is to always, I always recommend heat drying over air drying. Um, and I posted many reasons why air drying is bad, but overall it goes back to over moisturizing our hair and using heat such as a hooded dryer or a diffuser helps to dry our hair faster, our hair faster with less damage. And I recommend heading over to wondercurl.com. Um, I have a healthy hair planner that also gives you a lot of great information. You can also download our free hair care workbook.